Well, I think that uh, you have coined a new phrase this morning. I've been described a lot of ways. <laughs> At least if I'm going to be described as blonde, um, it might be the blonde bomb rather than the <laughs> bombshell. <laughs> well, let me just say that um, this is such a, you know, bittersweet, I guess, is uh, what I would say. Um, being here at your 34th visit, uh, SA to DC, and to think that I have been here more than half of those years, 18 already, this is 19, um, is just, um, it's been a ride. It's been so wonderful. And, you know, um, I was just trying to think of the relationship with San Antonio and um, the leaders in San Antonio. Um, and it's just been so solid, like just a great marriage. You know, we hit the hard times and we come together and San Antonio's leadership is always there, thinking innovatively, uh, willing to try just about anything. And we've tried just about anything and we have won just about everything that we have tackled. Um, obviously, Kelly uh, mentioned here, it's perfect that uh, this would be the Port San Antonio uh, sponsored event because that was one of our greatest victories. And um, the that last thing, and you know, I say it every time I can, uh, don't forget Joe Robles in this because he was on the BRAC Commission who tried so hard to save Kelly, but he stayed here over the weekend. All of everybody else had left town. The BRAC was, uh, all the hearings were over. The BRAC was finished and they were writing the report and Joe Robles stayed the weekend to assure. Uh, we worked with him on language and uh, Dave Davis is here. Um, Dave, where are you? Because Dave Davis and I uh, were working together. Dave is my legislative director. He has cycled back in. He's a retired colonel, so he knows how things operate in the military. And uh, we were able to work language into the final BRAC report that would say that privatization would be an option for um, a place like Kelly. And boy, has privatization through Port San Antonio been a huge success. Um, just the jobs that are there, uh, it's just been wonderful. And that's the kind of leadership that San Antonio has always shown. And when we've had those hard times, we've just come right back. So um, I'm just glad to be here. I understand that you honored uh, my friend Charlie Gonzalez last night. He's been a great partner. Uh, just like your whole delegation through the years, you've sent wonderful leaders to Washington. You've had wonderful leaders for us to work with. And I want to say, because I see Nelson Wolf right here, uh, that having the mayor and the county judge be united, uh, you would think that would be a no-brainer. <clears throat> Not always the case. And, uh, many places in Texas so that is one thing that has been just great and every I mean Nelson's kind of been there through all the mayors <laughs> you're kind of like me um, you you've been there and you've just been a great helpmate you really have and um, You've got a wonderful uh, mayor now. We've just worked so well together, but with all of your mayors, each one has given something different and something very important. So I'm glad to be here for our last time uh, for me to be an official uh, speaker, but hopefully I'll still get a chance to do many other things. Now, I do like to start my speeches with a little humor, and right now in Washington, self-deprecating humor is pretty obvious and I though I'm reminded of uh, when the latest poll came out uh, a few weeks ago of congressional approval which was down to nine percent my friend John McCain twittered well now we're down to blood relatives and paid staff <laughs> so there we are 
Well, I guess if I've got a message today, um, I'm going to be there May 1st. You all are doing a wonderful thing for me, and I'm really looking forward to that. And speaking of leaders, uh, I want to say you're doing that very nice thing for me. You have had great chamber leadership. That's part of a community's outreach, and uh, it is always the chamber that is bringing people together. And I have served with Joe Cryer and now Richard Paris, both of whom have been fabulous at bringing the leaders together to say, these are our priorities. This is what we lost, but this is what we're going to make out of it. It's always been the great chamber leadership. The board, of course, uh, hiring the good people and uh, getting behind our elected leaders. It's just been wonderful. I just can't say enough things, but you know that because San Antonio is now the second largest city in Texas and uh, one of the ones with the greatest um, uh, quality of life. So you've had the wonderful leadership, and Richard, I thank you. I thank Joe Cryer before you for doing so much. Uh, and so now here we are. I mean, we've done a heck of a lot. And when when I knew you all were coming up this year, I thought, gosh, you know, we've already done everything. Pretty much, we really have done the things that would prepare us. Just like, you know, um, I've been the chairman and ranking member through the years of the Military Construction uh, Committee of Appropriations. Um, just since 2003, my staff added up, we've done $1.5 billion in military construction in San Antonio. And of course, now people are talking about BRACs and talking about, you know, going forward with more. Um, there's no appetite for BRAC. None. I don't think you're going to see a BRAC for a few years. But the drumbeat is going to continue. So what I have tried to do uh, in all of my years is, number one, make sure that we had everything we needed in Texas. And we've built up San Antonio. We've also built up Fort Hood and Fort Bliss. Uh, we've built up um, Dias and Goodfellow. And we've done a lot, Wichita Falls at Shepherd. But in San Antonio, we have built such a synergism that really in the last BRAC, as you know, we won. We won because um, the military had had so much quality put into San Antonio plus what we've done at the Veterans Center uh, so that there's a seamless transition of health care uh, and that we can do joint research on prosthetics and the things that are the injuries of today with the great Center for the Intrepid. Uh, 